Hey y'all, welcome back to my kitchen for another week's worth of what's for dinners. My name is Bethany or Budget Bethany if you're new. Um, if you are new, welcome. We're so glad to have you. We hope you'll hit that subscribe button and stick around and hang out with us. And also hit the notification bell so that you can get notified every single time that I upload a video. Today's video is also in collaboration with Vanessa from Vanessa White Randomness. So after you get through watching my video, head on over to her channel and check her out. She is a Canadian mama, so tell her that Budget Bethany sent you and give her lots of Canadian love. So without further ado, let's get on into this food, y'all. All right, y'all. So on the first night, we just grilled some steaks and some sausages, or my husband did. I'm making the sides, and right here, I'm going to be making some homemade macaroni and cheese. And all you'll need is a box of box macaroni that you buy at the store. You'll boil your noodles, you know, just how the directions say on the box. You'll pour in your noodles after you drain them into your bacon your casserole dish and then you'll add in the cheese that comes with it and you'll mix all that together really well then you're going to need two cups of milk just like whole milk and you'll add in two eggs and you'll beat those in in with the milk all together you know mix it all up really well together then you'll pour that over your macaroni and cheese that you've got stirred up right there and then you'll um do a half a stick of butter also um i kind of melted mine in the microwave and just poured it in there but i guess you could just cut it up in cubes if you wanted to then you'll just top with some more cheddar cheese i use shredded cheddar cheese and you'll bake that in your oven on 400 for about 15 to 20 minutes and I also made sweet pea salad to go with our steaks and our homemade macaroni and cheese or our semi-homemade macaroni and cheese because it's not all the way homemade, I guess you would say. But anyway, on to the sweet pea salad. I've just cooked um, two cans of sweet peas and then I drained off the juice. I cooked them by the directions on the back of the cans and then I added in about a half a cup of mayonnaise which y'all know I don't measure some salt and pepper and then I cut in a boiled egg and I mixed that all up really well and we had sweet pea salad to go with our steaks and our macaroni and cheese. And here is our macaroni and cheese once it come out of the oven and here is our sweet pea salad and then here is the steaks and the sausages that my husband cooked I was cutting up some right here for the kids just for easier eating but I wanted to share with y'all how perfect this steak was grilled that's how we like our steaks um, and then here's our plate once it was all plated up I've got my steaks cut up also just so I can gobble it up really fast I've got my sweet pea salad and my macaroni and cheese and I've also got some ketchup for dipping for the next night, I just had all my family come over and we did a shrimp bowl, so I didn't get to film all the steps for that, but here is what our plate looked like. I just got shrimp, potatoes, and an egg on mine, but we also had corn and sausage in it as well. Then on the next night, I cooked my son some chicken and dumplings, so I just got about three chicken breasts right there in my pot with some water, and then I'm going to finish filling it up with some chicken broth. I seasoned it with salt and pepper. I kept it real simple on that part. Then once my... Um, Oh, I, I also added in a can of cream of chicken. Bring that to a boil. Once it gets the chicken gets done, I take it out and I shred my chicken up. Once I get through shredding up all my chicken, I'm going to add it back into the water or the chicken broth and then I'm going to bring that back to a bowl so that it can be boiling whenever I add in my dumplings. These are the dumplings that are made local to where I live. I tried to find y'all a link or y'all could order some if y'all were interested in buying them but y'all I can't find anything. I'm pretty sure they're just made locally so sorry y'all. So once my water comes to a boil I'm just adding in my dumplings and then I'm going to pop the lid on it and let that simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. Maybe 20 it just depends on you know how much you have in there but here they are once they are done they're still bubbling a little bit they were so delicious chicken and dumplings is always a win-win in our house and then on the next night i had to run into piggly wiggly to get some stuff to finish up my fall food friday video so i set those pork chops on sale so i grabbed those and i've got some rice sides right there just a chicken flavored i got some broccoli that i needed to use up and i bought these Velveeta cheese sauces last week in my what's for not what's for dinner my grocery haul so if you saw those in there i'm going to use those to make some broccoli and cheese 
cookies. I got my pan right here with some olive oil and some butter heating up. I'm waiting for my butter to melt. Once it melts, I'm going to add in my pork chops. They came pre-seasoned, so I didn't really have to season them, but you can see some pieces right there that wasn't seasoned, so I added a little bit right there. I put my broccoli in my pan and add a little bit of water, and I let that simmer on medium-low heat until the broccoli were soft. And here is my pork chops. Don't they look so delicious, y'all? And then I just got my pasta sides in the back, and you know, I'm just cooking those by the directions on the packets. And then once everything was done, or once my broccoli was done, I drained off the water and I um, squeezed in one of those packets of the Velveeta cheese. They look like the cheese that comes in the macaroni and cheese, but it's just cheese. I mixed that up really well, and then we plate up our plates, and dinner was done. It took me like less than an hour to make this dinner, so this was a really win-win dinner. For me this night and here's my plate once it was all plated up it turned out good it was delicious everybody cleaned their plates everybody had full tummies then on the next night i cooked my um, roast mashed potatoes and gravy and biscuits that you've seen in my fall food friday if you haven't checked it out i'll link that in below in the description box and here's my roast y'all that was so delicious i made homemade mashed potatoes but that's all i got for y'all this week i hope y'all enjoyed this week's what's for dinner if you did please don't forget to leave me thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to go check out vanessa's um, video from today thank y'all and i'll see y'all in the next one bye y'all